Hi guys, I hope you've had some, some time to look over the PowerPoint and the video lecture we did for the uh, lesson this week, which is on television story formats. I wanted to go over the assignment with you and then also let you know about uh, something I put on Canvas that I think will really help. So for your assignment, you have to write um, a story that's a reader. So a reader is just a regular story. It's just a story that the anchor reads. It can be um, with or without a picture or with or without a graphic that goes over the anchor's shoulder. But generally it's just a story kind of like the stories you wrote for radio. There's not a video element to it. However, for this reader, I do want you to put it in split page format. So on Canvas, I've got some examples of stories. Uh, the first example, I have an example of a reader. Uh, it's got a split column, so it's got a video column and an audio column. And then it's got an over-the-shoulder graphic that I uh, included. So it's about a fatal fire in Jefferson City. Uh, in the video side of the column, I put the slug. You guys remember what the slug is. It's like the two-word title of the story. So in this instance, it's fatal fire, the date, March 25th, the time, 6 p.m., and then your initials, so GE. Um, in the video column, I also have, well, what's going to be the video that the audience is seeing? In this case, it's a reader, so the only video option is AOC, which means anchor on camera. So in the video column, I just wrote AOC, Gloria Inlow. Underneath that, I wrote font, Gloria Inlow, JCTV News, which means that there will be a graphic that comes up on the screen that says Gloria Inlow, and underneath it, it says JCTV News, which anytime an anchor is usually on camera, they have a graphic, you know, it's got their name and the company logo with it. And then I've got on the audio column the actual story. You know, I wrote out the story about this fire. I did include one element in the reader that you do not have to include. I included GX1, which just means graphic one, and I put fire investigation. So I'm assuming at this news station, we have a generic graphic that would go over my shoulder that just says, you know, fire investigation. And so I included that, but you don't have to do that. All you need to do for the reader is put on the left hand in the video column side, anchor on camera, and then whoever your anchor is. You can use your name or you can make up a name. So I've got an example of that. The second part of the assignment asks you, okay, now I want you to turn the story into a voiceover. In order to have a voiceover, you have to have some B-roll footage that plays while the anchor is reading the story. So you don't actually have to write out a script for that. Just tell me. You know, uh, so this is a 20 second story, so I need 20 seconds of video footage. I'm gonna put in footage of flames coming out of the house, firefighters working on putting out the fire, possibly pulling the victim from the house, and later, after the fire, investigators examining the scene. Uh, and then the third part of the assignment asks you to write a V-O-S-O-T. So this is a voiceover with sound on tape. Sound on tape would be an actuality in this case. So you went and covered this fire and you talked to someone and you got an interview and you recorded an actuality with the person that you interviewed. So in the video column side, again, you have your slug. It starts out with anchor on camera, AOC, and the story starts. The only thing I add in there is midway through the story, I add SOT and I pretended that I talked to a neighbor about the fire. And I just wrote out a little 10 second sound bite that the neighbor, Shirley Tanner, gave to me. And so on the video column side, it says SOT, 10 seconds, font, Shirley Tanner, neighbor. So the font would be the person's name and whatever their relationship is. I also could have said that I talked to um, the fire captain. And so it would have been SOT, 10 seconds, Dan Smith, fire captain. Uh, but then uh, in the audio side, I actually write out SOT, Shirley Tanner, and I write out the quote she says, which I do want you to do, and how long it is. Then I go back to anchor on camera, Gloria Inlow, and finish out the story. Okay, so it's all written out there in the example, and I think it'll be very easy for you to follow along and do something similar. Now for the fourth one, um, that was a package, and so I did a different story for the package because the fire story just wasn't long enough to turn into a package. There wasn't enough elements of the story there. So I actually pulled a story that KRCG did about um, how Patty Malone's Irish Pub is dealing with this new um, order that, you know, all restaurants and stuff go to drive through or delivery or um, to-go orders only. So there's several elements of the package. It still starts out on the video side with riding your slug. Still starts out with an anchor on camera. So the anchor comes on. 
In this case, I put the anchor as Sam Smith, and I gave Sam Smith a little something to say to start the story. So he introduces the story. The novel coronavirus is taking a toll on many local businesses. Jefferson City's bars and restaurants have locked their doors, going to delivery and carry out only to help with social distancing. Then I throw it to Gloria Inlow, who's doing a stand-up. So it says on the left-hand side in the video column, SOT, that's sound on tape, Enlow stand-up, and it's seven seconds long. And then in the audio column, I say that there's a stand-up, it's from Gloria Enlow, and she's outside Patty Malone's. And then I actually write out what the, I would say. So I would say, standing in front of the pub, Jefferson City's oldest pub, Patty Malone's Irish pub, was eerily quiet Wednesday evening on a night when it would usually be bustling. And then we go to a voiceover. So I'm not on camera anymore, but I'm still talking. But while I'm talking, there's video playing. What's playing? Well, it's video of the owner of the pub walking around the restaurant, which is empty, and also preparing some food to go in to-go containers. So while that video is playing, I say 10 seconds of that video is gonna play while I'm doing a 10 second voiceover. Then I'm gonna go to a sound bite from the owner, Marilee Tapman, and I'm gonna say in the video column that it's sound on tape, it's four seconds long, and who is it? Font, it's Marilee Tapman owner. And then in the audio column, I actually write out her quote. Then I go back to some voiceover, SIL, voiceover silent film, tell you how long it is, what the film is showing, and then in the audio column, I write out some more information for the story. And so it just flips back and forth between that. V-O-S-I-L, which is the voiceover that I'm doing as the reporter, the words that I'm saying, and then S-O-T, uh, uh, Tateman, which is sound bites from the owner. So there's several sound bites in here. And then the package ends again with me doing another stand up. So in the video column, I put a sound on tape, SOT, another MLO stand up, and how long it is. It's 19 seconds in this case. And then in the right hand column, the audio column, I actually write out what I'm going to say during my stand up and where I'm standing. So you can see very clearly how everything is written out. Um, and if you want, what you can do is you can go to KRCG or CNN or any um, website and pull a story from them and use, you know, use their words, use their sound bites that they have written and just turn it into a split page format. That's really all you have to do. Um, normally I would have you guys go out and find your own stories and do your own things, but you know, I don't want you to leave your houses if you don't have to. So this is an easy way to get some experience writing in this split page format. So uh, don't do the stories that I did. Find different stories, but there's lots of stories out there. You can do the coronavirus story. Just don't do the Patty Malone story. You know, you can change it to a different restaurant, whatever. Um, but I think that the examples I gave you will show you very clearly how to go about doing this. My advice would be to write out your audio first. So write out everything that you, the reporter, plan to say. Write out what you want your anchor to say, the anchor who introduces your story. Write out what you're going to say. Write out what the sound bites are going to say. Write all that in the audio column. And then go back and add the video elements in to match up with what you said. So you say, okay, in the audio column, I have me doing a voiceover, and I, I'm talking for 10 seconds. So when you're doing that, go in the video column and say, I'm going to put a video here, V-O-S-I-L, 10 seconds, and what's the video going to be of? It's going to be of, you know, doctors in the hospital testing patients for the coronavirus, just whatever your video is. And you can uh, make up whatever video you want, pretend you have the world's greatest video, that's fine. So uh, I think that this video and the examples that I put on Canvas will help you with the assignment. Um, as always, you can ask for help. Um, I have uh, office hours from 8 to 9.15, which is when we would normally meet for class, and then also from 1 to 3.30 on Tuesdays and Thursdays. So if you want to call me or text me or email me during those times, I'll get back to you, uh, you know, pretty much immediately or within, you know, 10 minutes of getting the message, depending on how much time it takes for everything to go through. Um, and then uh, if you want to talk outside those times, go ahead and leave me a message and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. This assignment is due a week from Thursday, so a week from tomorrow, um, or a week from today, probably by the time I post this, because this is if I'm posting this on the 26th, it's going to be due uh, a week from today. 
at the end of the day. So um, if you want to, you can write something up, send it to me, and have me look it over before you officially submit it. Um, and then after I you do submit it and I grade it, I will give you a chance to do a rewrite on it with corrections after I have made my comments on Canvas, just like I did with your first radio uh, story assignment. So that is it. I hope that is very helpful. And again, don't forget to um, contact me if you need anything. Next week on Tuesday, the uh, 31st, I'm going to get on here real briefly and tell you about a newscast I want you to watch. And I'm going to tell you some of the elements I want you to be on the lookout for in the newscast. And there will be an assignment that goes along with that. It's just, you know, five to seven questions about the newscast. Like, um, what was... Uh, one of the sound bites for the lead story, what was the lead story, was there a package, was there a reader, it'll be that sort of thing. Um, so make sure you tune in on Tuesday and check Canvas and uh, make sure that you are familiar with that assignment. So I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.